What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our tear on the Regulation G rank ladder, but this time using an Ice Rider Calyrex team. Now, when it comes to Ice Rider Calyrex, I believe this is one of the best, if not the best Pokemon, or I should say restricted Pokemon, in Regulation G. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing, especially within the Trick Room. It has its as one ability, which gives it unnerve and chilling nay. And chilling nay, every time we pick up KO, is going to give us a plus one attack boost on Calyrex. So at that point, it's just going to be a snowball effect. This Pokemon gets stronger and stronger every time it picks up a KO. For its item, we are rocking the air balloon to get rid of one of its weakness, which is going to be ground. And furthermore, we can pair it up with Ursaluna. Actually, we can't. I thought Ursaluna had EQ, but it doesn't. So air balloon's just getting rid of our ground weakness. Furthermore, Calyrex has the Fire Terror type as its Terror type, and its moveset is going to be Glacial Lance, Protect, High Horsepower, and Giga Train for a nice little coverage move. The team also features two Trick Room setters. We got Cresselia and P2, both very strong. We're going to pick and choose which Trick Room setter we want on the team, depending on what our opponent has. Our final three Pokemon on today's team are going to be featuring Ursaluna, like we already mentioned, Torkoal, and Iron Hands. Iron Hand's going to be great for Fake Out and Big Time Damage with Drain Punch and Wild Charge. Torkoal's going to be great for Weather Control and Big Time Damage with Eruption. And Ursaluna, just a top tier Pokemon within the Trick Room, doing Big Time Damage with Guts and Flame War. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match with this Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. Before we get started here with match number one, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Chris. Thank you so much for sending me this team over on Twitter. Huge shout out to you, my guy. Thank you so much for the squad. Hopefully grab some wins for you guys. But um, we're going up against Coridon and Charizard Sun team. Really dope. Really dope. We do have Torkoal for Sun, but Trick Room obviously going to be our best friend. Um, but I need a way to set up Trick Room, right? Probably go into Fake Out. Yeah, because if they just go into like a Sun squad, like... Coridon and anybody else, they can just do insane amount of damage. So going into a Pokemon most likely like P2 or Cresselia with a fake out user is probably in our best interest, right? I said we go P2. They got a few special attackers. Your impulse could come in clutch. So I'm gonna go in with both of them with a fake out user. Furthermore, we're gonna go into our boy uh Calyrex, and then we'll have Ursaluna in the back end. The bear. Cannot go wrong with the bear. Cannot go wrong with the bear. But we'll see who they want to lead here. Because again, I'm just looking to fake out, kind of get trick them up. And we definitely need fake out here because again, if we're not rocking fake out, Coridon and say like walking away could just come out here, hit me, drop my my trick room users, just take me out, no problem. But there is Psyduck just chilling. I like that little profile picture. It's just Psyduck <laughs> with his hands on his head. But now comes Coridon and Charizard. The Coridon Charizard come out here. Um, the sun is gonna get set, which is kind of scary. Not gonna sit here and lie. And who do I fake out here? I gotta fake out Coridon, right? I gotta figure out Karate, even though Charizard is so strong in the sun. I'm gonna hope that uh, P2 can just soak up whatever Charizard has to offer. I think that's our best bet. And yo, my boy's got Oracle Compulse now. Let's go, P2. He's not playing around. He's not playing around. But uh, from here, yeah, Trick Room definitely gonna be in our best interest. And we're just gonna fake out this Karate slot. Because most likely Karate on clear enemy. Mean, there's no way it's Cobra. So we're just gonna fake it out. Make it flinch this turn. Set up the trick room with our little glass ducky. And we'll go from there. Plus, I like faking out Karadon because it's a fighting type. And if I leave it on the field here, it could just go for collision course and pretty much just KO my boy. But we'll see a Terra type pop out here. It better not be Ghost Karadon. You better not be Ghost. Okay, Charizard's gonna pop out here. Fire. Ah, this is scary. This this one's scary. This is scary. This is a bit too scary here. Fake out's gonna fake you out. We're gonna make you flinch. We got a crit on that. I like the damage output there. And flamethrower's gonna fly. P2 with the Evo Light. You got this, don't you? I don't think you got this. You got this! I love you, Glass Ducky. I love the Glass Duck. So now P2 pops a trick room, which we adore. We absolutely adore. And Solar Power's gonna chuck away some damage for onto Charizard. So now I could just go for an eerie impulse and drop this in special attack. And I think that's in my best interest to just do that and then let P2 die out. And maybe just go for either a wild charge or a I go Terra Water. I could go Terra Water, but I'm just gonna go for a uh I'm gonna go for a wild charge here. Just mm, no, you know what? We're just gonna drain punch Karadon. Have the area impulse fly into that slot. So drain punch doing a nice chunk of damage. Another drain punch will KO the Karadon. Eerie impulse gonna drop this thing special attack. And what I'm hoping here is P2 just dies out here and we can bring out Calyrex. 
Out comes Collision Course. Gonna do some nice damage. Heat Wave should be able to finish this thing off. And then you're just gonna go for a Flamethrower, which is fine by me. And you're not doubling down on my P2. I want my P2 dead. And you get a crit and just take out my iron. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> It'd be like that. So honestly, I think... I do think that uh, Ice Beam can take out Coridon. I really do. If not, Calyrex is going to be able to take it out. But I'm just going to go in Calyrex and uh, Terrastalize here. That's going to be my play. I'm just going to Terrastalize. Go for a Glacial Lance. And honestly, who's slower? Who is slower? Because I want... I want Calyrex to pick up the KO onto Coridon. And the reason being that is because, obviously, I want that uh, plus one boost on special attack. So P2 is actually faster. So I think from here, we honestly just recover some HP. I honestly think we just recover HP. We go for recover here. We go for a Terra Fire here. And we just go Glacial Lance. And we just go Glacial Lance here. So he ends up withdrawing Charizard, which is totally fine on my end. Totally fine on my end. Shen Pao is going to fly out here. So Shen Pao is going to come across. Swords of Roman Gun to fly out here. And we should still have, I think, one turn left in Trickle after this. Maybe two. I would love two. I would love to. Actually, we should have two after this. I'm going to Terrasalize in the fire. I'm just not dealing with... Well, it's more so for the Charizard. I was just not dealing with a Flamethrower into the slot. So from here, he's just going to have to protect Coridon. No big deal. B2 is going to recover. He's probably going to be like, oh my lord, why is this thing recovering? And we'll go from there. Nice little Glacial Lance. How much damage is this doing to Shen Pao? Not bad. Could definitely be better, and Recover's gonna fly here, so we get back a little bit of HP. Get back a little bit of HP. Actually, a lot of bit of HP. And we can check the Trick Confirms to here now. Two. Beautiful. I could go for another Recover here, but I'm actually just gonna throw an Ice Beam into the Shen Pao slot and try to KO it. In all honesty, I'm just gonna try to KO it. So I could see a swap back in Charizard. That's definitely an option. But maybe I should've just recovered here. I mean, I'm still chunking up some big-time damage with this. With this Glacial Lance. The Charizard comes back out and about. No big deal. Shen Pao's just going to protect. And he's just letting me chunk up damage. And I might as well just recover next turn. I might as well just recover next turn. I might as well, right? So Glacial Lance flying yet again. I love her Terror type on this thing. Glacial Lance doing a massive amount of damage. And Ice Beam's going to fly and get blocked. So we have one turn left in Trick Room here. I could honestly just swap into maybe Iron Hands. And read the Protect from Charizard. Just so we can have fake out next turn. Actually, Iron Hands died. I forgot. Iron Hands did die. And I think our best bet is just to recover here. Recover and just go for a Glacial Lance. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I'm going to recover. I'm going to drop a Glacial Lance here. He's not going to protect the Charizard. So Charizard's going to die out here. How much damage are we doing to Shen Pao? Decent amount of damage. Bringing it down to red. We have you down to red, HP. And now I'm sitting here plus one with my Glacial. With my uh, Calyrex. So this is a solid battle. They honestly did a good... good uh, a good job at wasting out Trick Room Fringe, because Trick Room's gone now. So I recover, go back to full HP with my P2, which is gorgeous. He's going to end up going for Iso Crash, which we should soak rather well. Yep. And the Sunlight's going to fade. So Sunlight is gone. I can see him bringing back out the, uh, the Coridon. And if he does, I'm still just going to throw a Glacial Lance. I'm not going to protect this thing. Yeah. So he's going to throw that out here. He's probably most likely going for a Collision Course. And I mean, at, th at this point, we're going to pop Trick Room, and we're going to go for a Glacial Lance. It's definitely in our best option, because if we protect Calyrex here, and they just attack my P2, double down, and get rid of it, then we're sitting in a terrible position. But now, if we attack with Calyrex, we have two different options here. So we're either getting off Trick Room, or we're doing insane amount of damage and picking up a double KO. So, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So, I still Crash going to fly into the P2 slot. No problem. You soak that. And he's going to go for a collision course and double down in the P2. Exactly why I wanted to attack here and not just uh, protect. Because if I protect here, we kind of just lose this match. So good call for us. We're already plus one with our Ice Rider Calyrex. We should be able to pick up a double KO here. Go plus three. And pretty much just solidify this match. We love it. So we, he was hoping we were protecting. He was hoping, but I'm not. I got a good terror type up against you right now. We love it. And there's the double KO. So plus three. I still got the Earth Luna Bear in the back end. And they should have one more Pokemon, correct? I think they have one more. I know we KO'd three, right? Yeah, because he's plus three. Makes the most sense. Yeah, so Ursuline is going to come out here. We're going to see their final Pokemon. And we should be fine here. Now, the final Pokemon is going to be Walking Wake, which is ooh, kind of annoying. 
I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna make a hard read and just protect. I might just double protect. I might just double protect, because how many turns are left in the sun? Oh, four. There's still four turns left in the sun? I'm just gonna double protect. And the reason I'm gonna double protect is because I want Guts to trigger. I do want Guts to trigger. Actually, I can just make this hard read and just go. I can honestly just make this hard read, go headlong rush. And then just protect you, right? You're definitely going into Hydro Steam in the Calyrex slot, right? You gotta be. I made the wrong call. We did not solidify this match. We just lost this match. We just lost this match. We just lost the match. Unless I can eat up Hydro Steam. I was just gonna double protect too. I was gonna double protect. So I mean now we just need to eat up a Hydro Steam, but I don't think you can eat up a Hydro Steam in the sun. Did we lose this? We did lose this. Walking Wake just doing me dirty. Doing me real dirty there. That hurts the soul. 0 and 1, we played so good in this first match. Just ended up losing to a bad protect on my end. So guys, I owe you guys a victory. I owe you guys a win here in Regulation G. That last match, I should've just went with what I wanted to do and just double protect there. Cause in that case, I could've triggered Flame Orb and Guts onto Ursaluna and I would've still had my Calyrex. And then next turn, we could've just went for a Facade and a Glacial Lance. Both I think would've KO'd. So that could've been good. But at that point, they just made a good read on me. Went after my Ursaluna Bear, read a Protect on my Calyrex and won the match. So again, really tough on our end that we lost that match. But hey, we're hopping into our second match. We're going up against one of the best teams in Regulation G. This Kyogre team, absolutely amazing. So we're definitely going to need to fake out here and try to get off Trick Room. So in this case, I mean, we could go into Cress. Cress does have Poison Terror type. I kind of wish P2 had Ghost Terror type, but it's Rock and Fairy. So who do I think they're going to lead here? Potentially Kyogre, right? Potentially Kyogre. We definitely need uh, Torkoal here, but I'm going to lead a fake out user alongside with P2, right? Do I lead P2? Yeah, I'm going to lead P2. I just think P2 is a bit bulkier than Cress, which I like a lot. So I'm going to go into them. I'm going to bring you. Could swap into Serene here, which could be a tough, tough move for uh, me. But I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. So we got a little bit of a weather war here. Looking for a win here in match number two. We are 0-1, which kind of sucks, man. I really played good in that last match until like one play. Until like one play where I kind of didn't take my time to think. But that goes to show you guys should actually just like use all your time up. Especially in a close match when thinking. And just think out a bunch of different options. But they're going to end up leading Kai Ogre and Incineroar. So Intimidate's going to come out here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I might just swap weather here. And bring out the sun. And he's definitely just going to fake out the P2. He's definitely just faking out the P2. Which is a slight little issue. We do have Drizzle on my boy. And I could just change up weather if I want to. I could just change up weather. I mean, we have fake out with you. And honestly, let's just go into Torkoal here and try to set this trick room up. It's going to be my play. So he ends up withdrawing Incineroar. That's fine. That is fine. So we could have just faked out if we wanted to. I thought he was going to fake out one of my Pokemon. And he's going to go in the Serena over here. I'm good thing we are swapping. We Good thing we are swapping. Thank you. Thank you. So I get rid of the weather. I should be able to get off Trick Room for free here. My Torkoal should be able to thrive. We love a good old Torkoal. I can start Eerie Impulse to Kyogre. So Drought out and about. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he's going to Thrasilize into straight water. So he's, he's using his Terror here early too. So he's going for big time terror. This honestly still might take out our Torkoal. I'm going to be honest here. This does some massive, massive damage. But at least we get off Trick Room because I know it ain't taking out my P2. I know for sure it ain't taking out my P2. I know for sure it ain't taking out P2. Torkoal might die here. Let's be honest. But P2, he's a little bulky boy. Yeah, see, Torkoal gets absolutely dumped on. But you get a crit. Okay, makes sense. Makes makes a bit more sense now. But Torkoal, thank you for sacrificing your body for our team to pop off with Trick Room here. The Trick Room is now here. Trick Room is now here. And honestly, we're just going to go into Calyrex here. And the reason we're going to go into Calyrex is because they're going to swap into Incineroar on one of their slots. So I'm just going to swap into... Uh... Actually, do I even need to swap here? 
I might just high horsepower the Serene slot. I could just Giga Drain here, get back some HP. And Eerie Impulses. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I think he swapped the Serene here. Yep. I was just gonna swap into my Iron Hands, but you're just gonna, you know, do that. I'll swap into Iron Hands next turn. So he does that. Intimidate's gonna do, do me dirty a little bit. And from here, Giga Drain's gonna fly, do a little bit of damage, and more importantly, Eerie Impulse is gonna fly here. So Eerie Impulse out and about, we love it. They can fake me out, they can waste a turn. And Water Spout's going to do like negative six here. Maybe negative five. It seems like you're choicing that. It seems like you are choicing that. So my air balloon does pop, kind of sad news, and I can go into Iron Hands here. So I'm, I'm gonna swap into Iron Hands and I'm just gonna recover some HP. Get him back, back out on top here, because I can see some swaps from him. Kind of annoyed with this whole Incineroar thing. I'm really hoping he doesn't swap Incineroar here. I kind of hope he just kind of keeps him in here. Maybe goes for a uh, knockoff. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. And he's just withdrawing Kyogre here. So Kyogre gets to withdraw. Um, we're not going to pick out. We're just going to just start drain punching this Incineroar. We kind of need to get rid of it. And Real Boom's going to fly out here. So a lot of fake out options here. A bit too many fake out options. A bit too many fake out options. And here comes a fake out from him. The fake out into this slot, we're going to be able to recover to P2. Um, get back a lot of HP, which is great. We do have to watch out for a knockoff here. And I believe that's what he's going to do here. We're still going to go for a Drain Punch here. Actually, what's your Terror type? Water. Eh. No Ghost Terror types to dodge these fake outs. But I'm going to go for Drain Punch here. I am just going to go for an Ice Beam into this slot. But I think what he does here is just fake out and he goes for a knockoff here. But no, he doesn't. Drain Punch gonna fly here. Do a big chunk of damage on the Incineroar, which we love. We love that damage. We love that damage. And Barry's gonna poke out here. So we can KO with another Drain Punch, which is actually pretty big. So no fake out from the Robin. Not a single fake out from the Robin. Can we get a freeze? Can we get a little freeze action? No freeze pop, and there goes the knockoff. So knockoff gonna be tough news for us, considering he gets rid of that. And are you just gonna KO with like a wood hammer here? Now you're gonna U-turn pivot. So he turns Pivot out here, um, probably goes back into Kyogre. We don't have Torkoal anymore, which kind of stinks, not going to lie. But if you go into Kyogre here, I'm just going to Eerie Impulse it. That's tough news, our P2 without Evo Light. Our P2 without Evo Light. Gonna be terrible. Gonna be terrible. I think they might go back into Kyogre here. And now they're going to go into Serene. At this point, I'm just going to Drain Punch look to get rid of Sinor. And what else am I going to do here? Because they're wasting out Trick Room turns really well. We only have one turn left of Trick Room. Definitely want to go for Drain Punch in this slot. And I mean, probably Ice Beam's our best bet. I think they swap in Sinor. Let's be honest here. I need to swap in Sinor. If I get off one more Trick Room, that could be massive. But I don't think I can, especially with Knockoff just gone. So he ends up leaving Incineroar on the field, which is actually pretty big on our end. Actually, really big on our end. And they're going to bring out Kyogre this next turn. Without Trick Room. And then I think I'm kind of forced to Terrastalize. Let's see how this one plays here. How much damage are we doing here? P2 doing a nice chunk. Can we get a Freeze? No Freeze Pops. You're going to end up taunting me. Okay, so now he, he put us in a position where we can't Trick Room. We can't go into uh, what's called either. We can't Trick Room or we can't go into Eerie Impulse, so we're pretty much forced to just keep throwing Ice Beams into these Grass Pokemon slots. But if I get rid of Kyogre, I like where we're sitting. I just need to get rid of Kyogre. And I think this is where, hopefully they throw out Kyogre here. Please be Kyogre. It is going to be Kyogre. And I think this is where we, we uh, go into a Terra Water. And we just attack, right? And we just go for a Wild Charge. That's definitely our best bet. And then if I can, just go for an Ice Beam. Because if I can get rid of this Kyogre, I believe my Glacial Lance Calyrex can just boom both these Grass type Pokemon dead, right? Makes the most sense, but I need to get rid of this Kyogre. So they wasted out Trick Room turns really well. We've been playing some opponents who just waste out Trick Room turns really well so far. But now comes our Terra type. We finally send it. Helping Hand's gonna come out here. Again, we just need we just need my boy to eat this up. Is this Origin Pulse? It's gonna be Water Spout. The water Spout getting after it. You should soak this, Iron Hands. You're pretty good. Man. Yeah, all day. Easy soaks. Easy soaks. Easy soaks here. Easy soaks. Wild Charge KOs. 
Let's go. Let's go. That's a big time KO. Okay. So now we have to worry about the next step in a process, which is going to be the fake out onto the Rillaboom. So Rillaboom can just fake me out. He can start attacking. Um, I wish I had double protect, but I'm just going to protect Calyrex here. I think that's in my best interest. Because let's be honest, do, do they really have moves that can just KO my Calyrex? Plus I can get back a little bit more HP, and I know one Glacial Lance is going to pick up the double KO. So I, again, I think our best bet is to just, is to just uh, protect Calyrex. Because I'm trying to think of the moves that they do have. Moves that they do have would be high horsepower potentially. Our air balloon's gone. Grassy glide, wood hammer, power whip, triple axle, right? Maybe high jump kick on Serene, which could be a little whack for us, but I think from here we just drop a drain punch into you and we just protect. And it's gotta be our play. So we protect the horse here. Big time tower from us into this iron hands, and he's just gonna go for a fake out into the horse. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there's a fake out into the horse. Are you doubling down into the horse? You might be. You don't. Power Whip's gonna fly or KO me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because all I wanted to do was get an extra turn here. That's all I wanted to do. So now all we have to do is eat up shots here. That's all we have to do is just eat up shots. And actually, this grassy turning end, I would actually love it to end. Because that would take away some grass damage. It does end. That's massive. That's massive too. Cool. So from here, we're just gonna click Glacial Lance and. Hope we can soak up the attacks. Again, we're hoping uh, Serene over here does not have high jump kick, right? There goes Power Whip. That one's going to miss. That was really doing like negative six damage anyway. And you're going to go for a wood hammer. Okay, cool. Yeah, we soaked that. All day long, we soaked that. All day long. And now Calyrex can drop Glacial Lance. Say GG. That's the game. So big time plays from us to rationalizing our Iron Hands at the perfect time. Getting rid of Kyogre and then having this Calyrex in the back end to pick up two massive KOs. So we're one and one. I told you guys, I promised you guys to win. There it is. Let's go grab ourselves another one in match number three. Final match is here. We are sitting one and one, and we're going up against a dope Necrozma team right here. They got Necrozma alongside with Indeedee, Gallade, Iron Boulder, Iron Crown, and last but not least, Hisuian Braviary. So one thing that I do have to watch out for is the size spam, right? Psychic terrain, expanding force. That's looking terrifying. I'm not going to shoot it. It's looking terrifying. But to be honest, I kind of just like leading these two. I think both of these are going to be a great lead. I think they could soak up some shots here. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys. And from here, we are going to go in with Ursula and Torkoal. I think this is just a heavy trick room squad. We just have to get straight after it. So that's going to be the play. That is going to be the play. Cresselia. Ice Rider Calyrex, and then with Torkoal and Ursa Luna in the back end. Looking to grab ourselves a winner record. And to be honest, I know, we should already have ourselves a winner record. I blew the first match. I blew it. I blew it. But that second match, really solid. and made some great calls. Saved our tarot for the most perfect moment, right? Just as they thought they had the upper hand on me with Water Spout helping hand. We were just like, nah, yo, we got Water Tarot. We were soaking the shot up all day long. Which we did. Soaked it up. Wild Charge KO, and then Glacial Lance was just GG's. So they end up leading Iron Boulder alongside with Indeedee. And now Iron Boulder is actually kind of scary right now because it has that move Mighty Cleave, which is a rock move that can hit through Protect. And what I wanted to honestly do was just Protect here. But I might just end up hard swapping into like Ursaluna Bear. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here. I think I think we have to hard swap. I, I think I am gonna hard swap. I don't like this one bit. I don't like. I don't like Calyrex just sitting here with Mighty Cleave. Our terror doesn't work out with it as well. So, yeah, we're just going to swap into Ursula Bear. Get Gut Triggered, and we'll just pop a nice little trigger. That's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. Mighty Cleave's just such a cool move. Hits through Protect. We love it. We love it. Now, that's a cool hit through Protect move. That's cool. But when it comes to Urshfu and having an ability that hits through Protect, nah, that's a little too broken. That's a little too broken. That, that's a bit too broken, right? The ability's broken, but the move, it just works so well. I love this move. But um, I'm going to swap Calyx again. I'm not dealing with Mighty Cleave. I really just am not. And I'm just going to go into Ursaluna. So Ursaluna comes out here. We love Ursaluna. And he's going to go for Helping Hand, Mighty Cleave. Into the... I just tried a Calyx slot. Yeah. That's what I was scared of. That right there is what I was scared of. Good thing I am ground type. I just say, Ayo, that's not very effective. And I can pop Trick Room for free. And now I have Guts Trigger. So, actually really like where we're sitting. Actually love where we're sitting. So from here, honestly, 
We just go for a headlong rush, we KO you, and we swap into Ice Rider Calyrex. We love it. We love it. So obviously we can stand on the field here and just like, I don't know, be a problem with Cresselia, but I think we should take advantage of these trick room turns and just get our boy out here right away. Get our Calyrex out here right away, especially if we are KOing this, uh, this Iron Boulder here. No unnerved. No one's allowed to eat berries anymore. No berries allowed, and I'm floating in the air with air balloon, which we love. So it ends up just withdrawing this Pokemon, which is fine. I mean, I don't mind it too much. And are you going in Iron Crown? You might be, and that'd be a bad play. No Glade comes out here. That's still a bad play because you're dead. You're gone. Get it on out of here. Gone. And <laughs> Long Rush does so much damage. We drop our defensive stats, but hey, that's fine. We now have Calyrex showing on the field. So Calyrex showing here. I still have Air Balloon. Um, and they're just going to cancel out my Trick Room. Oh, no. We got to go back into Crest. You canceled out my Trick Room? How dare you? How dare you cancel out my Trick Room? Come on now. That, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. You're canceling out my Trick Room. Not cool. They go back into the Iron Boulder. Looking to probably go for a Mighty Cleave here as well. So you know what? I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to swap back into Crest. You want to play games with me? That's fine. We can play some games. We can play some games. We can play some games. And honestly, I'm really hoping that this Indeedy tries to read my Calyrex going for Trick Room and pops a Trick Room of their own. But to be honest, I just don't even have Trick Room. That could be real nice. But I think he just goes for Mighty Cleave in this slot, and hopefully I can just headlong rush and finish this thing off. In my best interest. That, that's that's my play. Look at my boy Calyrex, dude. I love Calyrex. Calyrex is so dope. Ice Rider Calyrex. So I end up uh, just hard swapping. Going straight into Crest. And they're going to Terrasilize their, uh, their Iron Boulder. Is Iron Boulder going to get Terra? Is this in Grass? I feel like it's Grass. No, oh, it's fighting. It's a bit scary. That makes me feel as my Ursuline is a goner here. I'm kind of hoping they're just going after uh, my crest slot. Let's see, they end up going in to follow me. No big deal. Close combat's going to fly, and that's just dropping me. That's just dropping my bear. See you later, bear. So bear ends up dying out here. Um, hmm. I think I have to sacrifice Torkoal, if anything. I'm going to go into Torkoal here. Could have just went for an ally switch. Ally switch might have been the play. I should I should just go for ally switch and eruption here. That's what I'm gonna do. Instead of going for trick room, we're ally switch and eruption. But chances are you're going for a mighty cleave in the slot. And I should have went into glacier, but honestly this works fine. Yeah, I should have went into glacier and then ally switch. But the reason I didn't go into glacier was because mighty cleave just going to take out whatever Pokemon's in the slot. But I forgot I had ally switch. So instead of trick room in here. I'm just going to ally switch Eruption. Hopefully they go for either Follow Me or Trick Room with Ndidi, so I take no damage on Torkoal, and Eruption can just get rid of it. That works, too. That works, too. There's no shot you're going after my Crest here. There's no shot you're going after my Crest. You gotta just be going after Torkoal, right? Yep, all day. All day. So good call on RN. Great call on RN with the ally switch. Eruption finishes off the Iron Boulder. Ndidi probably dies out. No, Ndidi soaks rather well. And now I can get off Trick Room. Now I can get off Tricker, which is gorgeous. So finally we get rid of that Iron Boulder. That thing was just actually a perfect counter to our team. So if we didn't have Ally Switch, we'd probably just lose that match. Probably just lose that match. And they're going to go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Necrozma. Necrozma actually a little scary. So from here, I'm just going to go into the Trick Room finally. And I'm going to switch over to Heat Wave just in case he wants to attack my Torkoal here. So we still have Calyrex in the back end, which is great. He's going to go for Helping Hand. And who are you going after here? Because if you don't go after Torkoal, oh, you got EQ. That's fine. I get off Trick Room. We love Trick Room. The Torkoal might die out here. No, he soaks no problem. And they get rid of their Indeedee. And I get off Trick Room. Game over. 2-1 winning record. Awesome. Killed it today. And of course, my Torkoal misses. No, Torkoal lands. Beautiful. Torkoal doing some big time damage. But yeah, this Ice Rider Calyrex team, the real deal. Super, super strong. He's going to proc weakness policy here, but it doesn't even matter. Because Trick Room is now here. We are now faster than you. We played that one pretty well. And honestly, if we didn't have Ally Switch, we'd most likely lose that match. That Ally Switch was so clutch. It really was. But from here, I'll just go for Lunar Blessing just to get HP back. And we'll just go into a Heat Wave again here. But I believe they canceled the match. It's definitely over, right? And no, we're just landing Heat Wave. 
Cool. Now it's a 2-1 winning record. We'll take it all day. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 2-1 winning record with this amazing Ice Rider Calyrex team. Absolutely love this Pokemon, and I still feel as it is definitely one of the best restricted Pokemon within Regulation G. We have the As-1 ability going crazy with Glacial Lands, and then other Pokemon such as Crest, P2, Ursaluna, Torkoal, and Iron Hands. Honestly, every Pokemon on this team really thrived out today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.